I start with some um, information about the uh, my chair, so the department. Uh, as in a, a German university, at, at least on the university level, um, um, the chair is the most important, or let's call it department, the most important entity uh, in a university. At my university, we have 36,000 students. We have one of the big old research universities, one of the 11 excellent universities in Germany. We have 8,800 staff members at the university, including 2,500 uh, student assistants. Uh, so, but nevertheless, then more than 6,500 staff members and um, only 300 professors. So the chairs really are something like a small company. Uh, um, so here you see my department, my chair, that's me, the academic staff member, the associate lecturers, the guest researchers, the technical staff in my lab, the student assistant, the external doctoral students. So this is something like a mid-size company, and that is quite typical for all the chairs within my university. Um, so we have um, joined, let's say, journey. This is here my chair on a journey to a tour to an a conference in Cologne, we have uh, conferences or workshops. This is a workshop, should we allow hitchups uh, for secondary school teachers in Berlin schools. Um, and then uh, the PhD students, they form a, a group for themselves. Uh, and, um, um, and we understand in Germany, PhD students, not as students, but as young colleagues. So most of them have a contract as a staff member and teach. My university has this big workshops that is, a, let's say, speciality of German engineering and technical education. And what we do not have, but what uh, Dolores has, is this dual study um, of um, uh, vocational education plus an academic study. That's typical for her university. We, I would like to have that. Yeah, I admire her. That she has it. But what we have at my university is a campus where 50 companies are located, plus the uh, university in a second, let's say, hybrid campus to get a close relation with, um, let's say, startup companies, especially in the field of mobility research and um, energy research or energy transition, mobility transition. Um, my chair, let's say, develops especially maker spaces. We have a couple of these maker spaces at the university. Sometimes uh, this is uh, my, these are my workshops, let's say, where students are educated. Uh, these are students which present work in the workshops. Uh, um, these are it's our annual long night of science where we, let's say, teach or open our uh, uh, chair, uh, our uh, workshops for families. Hopefully that's here better. Ah, yeah, here, now this is better. Um, then we conduct um, maker fairs from time to time at my department. This is a maker fair with initiatives on uh, modern textile technologies, uh, but uh, that you go with your laptops uh, uh, directly to um, weaving machines. Then we have quite regularly hackathons. All this, as you can imagine, is now difficult in uh, digital education. And we try to develop new didactical instruments, which we call learn instruments. Some of them um, um, now are digitalized. Many of them, let's say, need a workshop, a lab, and a real situation. Uh, what I did in recent years at my chair is I developed a new school subject called Digital Worlds, Digitale Welten, a school subject in secondary schools in Berlin. Um, and um, it is a reaction, the school subject, this is in Form 11 in the gymnasium, which uh, counts for 50% of the secondary school uh, pupils uh, and uh, in Form 12 in the so-called integrated secondary schools, which count for the other 50%. So the, we have two types of secondary schools at, um, um, in, uh, in the German school system. And it is a reaction, let's say, uh, to new challenges, of course, in industry, 
4.0 work, 4.0 as I call it, or Leisure 4.0 even. It is an attempt to modernize this, let's say, a little bit old-fashioned school subject work studies into a more digital maker lab and an attempt uh, to enter the gymnasium. Uh, this uh, school subject work studies was devoted on um, focusing only on integrated secondary schools so far, so far, but not with this new school subject digital words. And it is a reaction to the decrease in vocational education, which we experience in Germany. So worldwide, it is a praise, but within Germany, vocational education is shrinking. So what we did is that we selected um, uh, 45 uh, uh, teachers from very different subjects, history, engineering, physics, uh, uh, languages, and educated them in eight sessions to become a digital world's teacher for this school subject. Here you see how we educate them in eight half day sessions. Uh, and then we started the school subject in 15 schools in um, um, autumn 2017 and with another 10 more schools one year later. Uh, we uh, had this further education, as I said, and we evaluate these courses and we uh, de developed a, let's say, cu curriculum for this new school subject and a handout uh, uh, for the hand of the teachers. Uh, uh. So that is the financial support by the ministry was zero. Therefore, this um, slide is empty. Uh, so we did that with our own resources at the university. Uh, but we had a fairly big, let's say, public impact about, uh, I think, several hundred articles. I was invited to several other states in Germany. We have these 16 German states. Universities are funded by the states, not by the federal system. Yeah, there are some publications, unfortunately, all of them in Germany on this school subject. Here you see the enablers. This is the minister, uh, um, uh, uh, some of her staff. That is uh, the, time, the most important person, staff member of mine, Dr. Melanie Stills, who runs the show, me and, and her assistant here. <laughs>